Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode. And in this tutorial, uh, we are going to learn more about uh, API data stream using Postman. So, uh, the there are a few tips and tricks I want to give you regarding Postman. So, uh, as you as you have already followed my previous tutorial related to Postman, I have discussed lots of about it. So, uh, there are few tips you can uh, say there are some certain uh, points that I would like to use uh, to give it to you that. Uh, just to remind you or you can say so that to be included while you are doing the API testing so I have mentioned it as a provisional API testing using postman that's why the title is so uh, let's move on to the certain tips that I wanted to give you it will be a very quick video about a uh, few uh, couple of uh, tips and tricks uh, using postman so uh, the first one is related to import request so uh, while we were doing the test testing or API testing and all. Uh, what we do is that we always try to create a different kind of request. For example, if it is a get request or post request, or if it is a patch, or sometimes it is a delete request, we try to do uh, using creating on request in Postman. That's a time consuming, I believe. Uh, so if you if you know if you have already kind of API or or a certain kind of UI for it so uh, you can make uh, make a post request or delete or patch request using that one what you can do is that you can directly import them using uh, import import as curl option in postman so what exactly you have to do is that for example as you can see in the screen you can just click on right click copy as curl and import it into postman so that's one of the uh, one of the feature that i uh, i always love to use it and let's move on to the next one so next one is related to create collections. So whenever you try to do any kind of API testing using Postman, always, always have certain kind of collections with you. For example, as you can see, uh, you know, I have created a collection known as uh, the first collection, which has get collection you know, certain request. And what I can do is that I can run those collection directly with, within my Postman. So if any time you require or uh, for example if you have a certain flows for example there's a particular request after a particular request and request what you can do is that you just move them into a collections and it will be very very beneficial for you to use collections in this thing all right so as you can see uh, in the folder i have two collection uh, i have created a collection with two get request and i can run directly after it so third one is the most important one i believe uh, always tie right test cases for your api api so for example i in this api i have written two test cases the, the first is related to if i do a get request i get 100 which 100 and okay response from the api then only what api pass so it will be very helpful this collection will be very helpful to create a you can say sanity test or production build for example if the particular build is go build is going live what i can do is that just run my api test in postman with uh, this collection runner and i am pretty much sure about it that it will be very fine right uh, you can use this google link that i have given for further test cases how you can use it or you can follow up my other tutorials in this tutorials related to test case advanced test cases in postman what you can do is that uh, the third the important another important one is related to uh, uh, you use folder structures uh, if, if possible for example in this this one what I have done is that for creation deletion as well as getting the response kind of thing I have created different folders which you can leverage those uh, features of postman and it will be very time saving according to me the first the, th the fourth one is related to JSON schema validations many many times generally most of the time we get the JSON as a response so what you can do is that you, you can use JSON schema validation i have another i have videos regarding this how you can validate json schema using postman and all you can follow them so it is one of the features that uh, like about the postman so uh, the tip number 5 is related to the postman bdd so uh, bdd is behavior driven uh, behavior driven uh, testing uh, what you can do is that uh, based on your behaviors for example if i if i do this you, i get this and if i do this and this so Postman uh, don't directly support out of the box the BDD kind of uh, syntax. What you can do is that what you can do is that you can uh, use this method. Uh, that's a method that is given in this GitHub URL, and you can just import that that script. And you, in the test case uh, tab, you can have this kind of structure where you can 
use describe and it blocks <clears throat> so it's one of the best one of the method because uh, generally we use mocha and jasmine for writing test cases in javascript for or uh, uh, test case uh, related to selenium and this kind of simil similar kind of bdd we can get in postman it will be very be helpful and uh, it was uh, very helpful in our uh, test cases also in my previous also so let's move on to the sixth one the sixth one is related to control test flows so uh, this this is one of the uh, key challenges sometimes we face that if particular request failed what we have to do is that after it so <coughs> So if the previous request failed, for example, if you get customer ID and undefined, what you can do is that you can just stop the execution or you can just pass to another request using postman.setnet request and in the argument you can pass the request name or whatever it is. So uh, you can control your test flow using these commands and these are the very uh, important as well as uh, I would say very beneficial for it. Uh, you can follow up my other tutorials that I have mentioned more about them. So tip seven, uh, number seven is related to environments and dynamic variables. Use as much environments as possible. For example, if I have, we have like, we have three stagings and one production server. So what we do is that uh, we create staging environments as well as production environments. So every time we try to run our collections, we can just uh, switch them according to our environments and it will be very beneficial for us. And in the environment, definitely we use, try to use dynamic variables. So as you, as you already know, the dynamic variables are related to like global, uh, collection environment and local data and if you know if you wanted to know more about them you can just follow up my other tutorials where I've discussed more about it how to use environment as dynamic variables in Postman so so if you wanted to see the demo uh, just uh, make sure you have Postman installed and you can just ensure ensure that new one is also installed and so I can let's switch on to Postman all right so this is my first collection as you can see I have a very simple get request which I have basically imported from uh, imported from our it's a dummy collection you can say let's let me do a get request inspect so just uh, go to the network tab and refresh it as you can see this request I can directly import it using copy as curl and cmd command and clicking on it and after importing clicking on paste as row and pasting it so here it is imported i can save it directly to my collection so let me do it uh, another one and save it so i have now and let me do this thing i have another one request using import method and as you can see i have a folder structure and uh, i have all the things in collections right now i don't have any Oh, uh, in my environment setup, you can add it using like staging one and this name variable. Let's say we type promote here and we can switch them according to our uh, staging environment. And these we can use them using, for example, if I can pass my name, which is which is coming from environment variable. So these things I already covered in my previous video, but just as a tips, I'm just mentioning about my right now also. So let's uh, come back to our slide. One second. Yeah. So uh, these are the resources, uh, or you can say references that I have looked into it while creating this demo for test cases. So uh, feel free to um, use them. Uh, so this was a very quick session about it to to get the, those tips and tricks of Postman. And if you have any doubt related to it, you can just mail me or just comment down below. I will definitely try to answer all the all the kind of possible answers to related to Postman and API testing or Selenium web drivers basically. So thanks a lot guys. Thanks for joining in and see you in the next one.